Welcome back to Visual Learners. Meta is joining the fray of generative video models with its groundbreaking AI development, Movie Gen. Imagine creating a video and soundscape just by typing out a description. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, Meta is making that a reality. Let's break down everything you need to know about this innovative AI video and audio creator, how it works, and why Meta isn't rushing to put it in everyone's hands just yet. Again, the focus on our AI is relentless over at Meta. It has been, right? I mean, it's been this story for Mark Zuckerberg and this company for the whole year, for sure. But even just last week, Caroline, you'll remember we were talking about Orion, these augmented reality glasses, you know, the Ray-Ban Metas, their AI powered smart glasses. Now they're coming out with the, uh, you know, video generated AI product. So this has been a very steady stream of updates from them. That's not, um, you know, a coincidence. Of course, this has been what Mark Zuckerberg has been talking about for a long time now. Uh, and now we're seeing some of the results of, of all of that talk. It is a steady stream and it is interesting because you and I spent two days at Meta last week and this wasn't shown to us. And now they've put it out <laughs> right. this morning. But I guess what I'd reflect on is that they are doing all things with open source being at front and center. You have the sort of consumer facing um, technology, which you can access through the Ray-Bans or through the application. Then there yeah. is the sort of more enterprise and industry leading stuff. Where does the video tech fit in? Are they going after developers, for example? So the idea is, is to eventually make this a consumer product. It will be integrated into their apps with the hope that people will then create more video, edit more of their, their own videos to make them you know, more fun or different, and, and increase sharing. At the same time, they're getting this in the hands of some filmmakers. They wouldn't tell us which ones, but they you know, say they're out sort of partnering with the film industry because they want this to be a complimentary thing, right? The, the last thing they want is to be seen as going after the movie houses or being a threat to them. They want to work with them. So it's a little bit of a consumer thing, but also something that they're trying to get in the hands of people who do this for a living. Generative video models are the new frontier, but no one quite knows what their real world use cases will be just yet. Despite the uncertainty, companies like Runway, OpenAI, and Meta are pouring millions into developing them. Enter MovieGen. Meta's latest AI-powered tool that turns text prompts into relatively realistic video, complete with sound effects but no voices. At least not yet. MovieGen allows users to generate and edit videos as well as audio using only text prompts. Want to create a video of a sunny beach with the sound of waves? Just type it in and MovieGen does the rest. The model can even generate video footage from a photo, meaning a simple selfie could turn into an entire cinematic scene. It's all about turning ideas into video content quickly and easily. But here's the catch. While the tech sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, Meta isn't ready to release it to the public just yet. According to Meta, MovieGen won't be available on platforms like Facebook and Instagram until next year at the earliest. Right now, only a small group of filmmakers and Meta's internal teams have access. MovieGen isn't just one model, but a collection, or as Meta puts it, a cast of foundational models. The largest part of this cast is the text-to-video generator, which Meta claims outperforms competitors like Runway's Gen 3, Luma Labs, and Kling 1.5. But let's be real. This is more about keeping up with the competition than claiming victory just yet. The videos produced by MovieGen are high definition, up to 1080p, and can run for up to 16 seconds long. Plus, the synchronized audio automatically matches what's happening on screen, like the rumble of a car engine, the roar of a waterfall, or even music that fits the mood. Meta also included a text-based editing feature. So, if you generated a video of someone walking across the street but realize you want them walking in the opposite direction, you can just type that adjustment, and MovieGen will only change that specific detail. Pretty handy for precise edits. Now here's where things get a little murky. MovieGen was trained on licensed and publicly available datasets, but Meta didn't provide any more details. It's likely that content from Instagram, Facebook, and other scraped data sources played a big role in training this model. This raises the ongoing debate around data scraping and what content is fair game for AI training. For now, the specifics of the datasets remain a mystery. So what does the future hold for MovieGen? While Meta has been vague about a public release, we know they're focused on refining the model before letting it loose. They're aiming for a tool that not only sets the state of the art, but also delivers a practical, easy to use solution for content creators. Earlier this year, we saw CEO Mark Zuckerberg show off Meta AI's Imagine Me feature, which lets users upload a photo and role play different scenarios. 
It's easy to see how MovieGen could take this concept even further. Picture a personalized video version of those fun Elf Yourself holiday videos, but way more advanced. So, what do you think of MovieGen? Do you see yourself using it to create your own AI-powered videos? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a new upload. Thanks for tuning in to Visual Learners, and we'll see you next time with more cutting-edge tech news.